Do you sometimes feel like no matter how much you practice drawing, you're just not improving? We all know the key to learning to draw is practice, but have you ever stopped to think about how you practice? In this video, we'll talk about the best way to practice if you want to actually get better at drawing. Number one, practice the right skills. What do you want to be able to draw? What you practice depends on what you want to achieve. So let's use portraits as an example. If you want to draw portraits, then obviously you need to practice skills that relate to drawing portraits. However, before jumping into drawing portraits, it's essential to learn the basic skills. This means learning to crawl before you can walk. Start by practicing the basic skills that will contribute to what you want to achieve. So for portraits, basic skills could include controlling your line quality, showing the 3D form of the head, and measuring accurate proportions. Decide what you want to be able to draw, and if you don't know what the basic skills you need are, then find a tutor or a course that can guide you on that subject. Make sure what you practice is relevant to what you want to be able to draw. Number two, commit to practice. Consistency is key. Allocate a particular time of the day or week to commit to drawing and make sure it's doable. It's better to practice 30 minutes once a week consistently than to commit to an hour and then not practice because you just don't have the time or things get in the way. Depending on your situation, you might be able to practice in short blocks, such as 30 minutes, three times a week. Uh, it might be first thing in the morning, it might be during your lunch break, it might be before you go to bed. Or if your time is more flexible, maybe you can give yourself a set two hours once or twice a week. Let me know in the comments how you fit drawing practice into your busy life. Number three, divide your practice time. How you practice is just as important as what you practice. And I recommend dividing your practice time into study time and fun time. Study time is when you practice the skills that you need to improve. Fun time is when you draw something you enjoy and you challenge yourself to produce finished artworks. Deciding what to do in your fun time should be easy. What do you want to get better at? What do you want to get good at? Well, have a go at drawing that. Deciding what to do in your study time takes a bit more reflection on yourself and on your drawing level. When you look at your drawings, what is it that's lacking? What is your biggest struggle at the moment? Try to be honest with yourself and to see the underlying issues. Do you really need to get better at blending skin tones or is it something more fundamental you're struggling with, like how to control your shading? Choose one area to improve on and really focus on that area for a month or so. You can find resources like YouTube videos that specifically focus on one thing. Follow along with those. Number four, check your attitude. If when you ask yourself what your biggest struggle is, you say everything, it might be a sign that you're just overwhelmed, in which case the best thing to do would be to find a good beginner's course to follow along with for your study time. Or, if you feel your biggest struggle is everything, it might be a sign that you need to change your attitude towards drawing. Drawing is full of challenges, and if you want to improve, then you need to find a way to manage your expectations and to manage how you feel about your drawing. If you find yourself getting frustrated or too critical, it might help to focus on just doing the work rather than how good you think it is. Even if doing the work means just showing up to your sketchbook and doodling for 20 minutes, it's better to do something, to do anything, than to do nothing. Remember, practice makes progress and try to keep your emotions out of it. So here's a checklist to make sure your practice does indeed lead to progress. Number one, practice skills that are relevant to what you want to learn. Number two, set a time to practice consistently and make sure it's doable. Number three, divide your practice time into fun time, drawing the things that you want to draw, and study time, focusing on what skills you're lacking and focus on improving one skill at a time. Number four, manage your expectations and attitude towards drawing. If you can take judgment out of it and just do the practice, you're going to improve. I hope these tips give you some direction as to how to practice and help you move closer to achieving your drawing goals. Thanks for watching and happy practicing.